this is Mrs. Waltz and this is a tutorial on how to create your virtual locker. As you can see I'm in the student view. Yours might look slightly different than this but it's the student view. Here's the virtual locker project. So I have my example for you to see. If you scroll down you see your virtual locker template. Go ahead and click on that and then you're going to make a copy. So you're going to wait for a moment for it to actually create that copy. Whoop, I don't need it to explain it. You can see we're processing here. So waiting, there you go. Okay, so here's the copy. The concept is you have a Google slideshow. Each one of the objects that you place in your locker will link to a slide. And that slide will have an object on it that links back to this initial locker. So you can select something else, okay? So here we are. Here's an example of a mini me. You can change it to be yours. Um, it doesn't look like me as you see in my final one. I changed mine, but you don't have to. So here I am with the initial locker. First of all, let me think about what I wanna add in my locker. So you're gonna go through that. What would you want in your locker? I think I want a picture, a picture that I'll place right here. So what I would do would be, I would go to insert a picture. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload from my drive. You could upload from your computer and find a file or from photos. I'm just gonna go ahead and upload from my drive and I'll scroll down through some of the pictures um, to find something that I want to put in. I'm going to select, Mm. MacBook 2020 and I'll go ahead and put my son and my daughter there we go okay now I don't want it to be that large so you grab the corner to scale it Grab it and move it, scale it to about the size that you want. Okay, now I'm gonna put it right here. Now if you want it to seem like it has a frame, you can have a border and I'm gonna say four pixels. So now it looks kinda of like it's framed. All right, so I'm gonna select it and I'm going to grab the link and say insert a link and tell it where I want it to go. So let me go over here and I'm gonna add a new slide I'm going to do the drop down arrow and just add a blank slide. Okay. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I could put a background on it. I could make a different color if I want to by selecting a different color. So I'm just going to leave it blank at the moment. Here's where I might choose an image, um, another photo, do a search, something from my Google Drive browse to put an image on this but again at the moment I'm just gonna leave it blank so now let's go to the picture select it and link it to a slide in this presentation where do I want it to be I want it to be slide 2 and apply it so now when you click it it will take you here to slide 2 okay so now what do I want to say about that I'm going to insert a text box and say, I really love my son and my daughter. I can choose to center that. I can change the font. I can do a variety of things, place it in a different spot on my slide. You get the idea. So for now, this is what I have on slide two. But again, I need an image that will then take me back to that original locker. So I am going to insert a picture. I'm gonna again bring a picture in from my drive. So mm, let me go back here, scroll down. Let me grab that one because I like it. It's a little bit emoji of me. So I'm going to scale it I'm going to move it over to the corner. I want to just do that consistently. 
so that it's easy to know what I click to get back to the locker. Okay, so select it. What are we going to do? Just like we did before, we're going to link by clicking this. Where do I want it linking to? A slide in this presentation. Which one? The first one. And apply it. So it'll take me back to the locker where then I can choose to select something else. Now, let's go back, present it, and see if it works. Okay, yay, what's that? Click it, and it goes to that next slide. It's telling something about what I clicked from the locker. So the picture of my kids links to this, and you see that I say, I really love my son and my daughter. Then I click this, and yep, it takes me back to the locker. Where you could see I could put something else in here. On mine, remember, I have an actual piano down here. You click the piano, it takes you to another Google slide that tells you something about the piano, why I have that there. And then you go back to this initial locker again. So let me escape go back and you can see if I wanted to do another one again add a blank slide okay I don't want that to be slide two let me bring it down to three to that third space because of just the way that I inserted it so if I want to add another one go to three boom add four and so on now we go back to the locker what are you gonna do add a picture of an image that you want here, maybe a guitar or something. Then you'll select that and link it to slide. In the presentation, next time it would be a slide, slide three. When you do it again, that time, link it to a slide in the presentation, that time it would be slide four. That's how you do the virtual locker, okay? Hope that helps, and if you have any questions, you can uh, send me an email in the Canvas inbox or sign up for help session during my office hours on Friday. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.